this is a guide on uh, using OpenShift platform as a service and uh, we will use a uh, node.js not this is not server this is platform as a service so here is a guide of, on uh, official guide also uh, that is fully co of command line we will uh, show you with using web gui uh, that is more easy uh, so uh, we will explain you first a um, few things first part is that you can if you got stuck in any step you can easily do a search on our website and you will get uh, the related article for example openshift uh, ssh a video so this part is first and secondly we will go through the an important step that is we will explain so that you do not have any issue so open in new tab if you search with my name with as dr dot abhishek ghosh then you will get the my official link obviously there will be some uh, abnormal results uh, which are fake profiles created by various scripts so just avoid them you will universally see this profile image for your easiness we have used everywhere the same profile image so here we have explained what is platform as a service and this is very important uh, video guide this one because uh, if you understand the platform as a service then it will be more easy to understand in the way we will explain in this video first we have said that if you need some help you can do a search just perform a search on our website this is the first point second point is that understanding how we will use openshift platform as a service right any web application usually have two components one is the traditionally what we say for apache 2 that is the server com ftv server components like we for php applications we upload to through cpanel or whatever the soft we are using whatever web control panel or whatever software without any web control panel we upload to the ftp server this is a basic thing and the second part is the database part the database is usually installed on the Traditionally installed on the same local host, but nowadays we have using cloud computing based data, database as a service. So this in these cases we use a fu fully qualified domain name that is FQDN. In case of platform as a service, what I have told you that is for IAS not for PAS for PAS we have to understand the thing is fully different it has a different model okay so we are we are behind an abstraction layer another extra abstraction layer so we are using JIT but the database connection is fully different from it you need not to understand how it works for example, usually with the node.js, we use MongoDB server. Terrace server. So, this is number one thing. And second thing, so if you diagrammatically draw this, it becomes a very nice drawing itself, right? 
your official what so come on just make them box them i will decorate them and put them as image and people will click them on google image search right it's a common trick so well preserved so this is the way practically you have to use right so now these two components why we need to understand so much complicated things this complex understanding these complicated things make the will make the using open stack or any i'm sorry open shift or uh, any cloud computing software and open shift is a platform as a service software abstraction it adds an abstraction layer so what is whatever we can that we have explained in platform as a service uh, tutorial we can upload to openship platform in two ways because we are allocated a space as for running an application how the database server works you need not to understand again i am explaining this because people usually tries to use this thing just like svn or jenny so whatever you have used previously for uh, using uploading source code that that the exact method is for this so from ias to platform is 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 quite complicated to uh, transfer because you're you are habituated with using ftp ftp also works for um, open shift that is a special uh, there are ways whatsoever this is just you can see uh, it is quite simple the theory is complicated but from the web ui is just two clicks so done you are happy no you are not happy because um, that is a default application that has been installed so we first need to this part you will need command line to and that's to supplied by open shift open shift has done everything for you so here is guide to if you need more guide more guide okay this is very nice for the people who are developing projects for example students because it has no cost it is free i am also using free account open shifts because um two are kept for example and one is uh, what we do not give the url of the third one because they are only limited to three right so there are commands is very easy commands just we have to copy paste okay first copy paste to clone right you need not to know what is keychain right now because you have to run the application second is that there is second command also written you don't just copy paste it copy best
correct you got you are on the master production branch now what you have to do is do an run and pw the command that will show the full path that is it is usually called the unix path or linux path whatever you say that is the path just copy paste it and you can see in finder but it this you cannot do on uh, some linux uh, distribution keep it in mind okay so all done i have opened it local host the html page it is not on running on open shift again open shift it is not open stack uh, both are red icon <laughs> so if i open from this link this is the web application right so what we have to do is this is a default application you have a so with the this is default application we have to replace with our own application we have to run the our application or your application like this so you have to go to the uh, whatever you have developed or uh, cloned just simply git clone git run the very common command for git or if you do not know anything for git it just you need to select all the files on finder either uh, right click and move to trash or just uh, drag them to trash can and you have to replace the file but replacing file will replace on local computer your mac or linux pc or windows pc it is not on the server so you have to follow this tutorial because the, it is the same the exact on uh, what we have done on heroku cloud is exactly the same what you will do with openshift and it is it, this is the easiest way so everything is done